I often talk about when observing crops as indicators. Uh, and the indicators I'm looking for are where is the crop in its growing cycle? Is it on schedule? And are we seeing any disease? So this is our first sowing of 2017. And often the first sowing we're a bit off. And so when I look at this sunflower crop, actually when you look at this sunflower crop, what do you see? So this crop was sowed on Monday, uh, early, you know, early, late morning. So it's been Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, covered up. And today is Friday morning and I've just uncovered it. So just to, here's a few trays here that have come out. So as you're looking at these trays, um, think about what you're seeing. Relative to what you know about where sunflower should be when it's uncovered. So there's two things that I always notice. One is the height of the crop and two is the number of holes that are still attached. And with the holes, I just look at how dark does this look? And so this is a relatively short crop and a lot of holes on there because it's looking very dark. So this is a crop that's a little bit behind. Now I'm not too far, the, the height is okay. That tells me that, that we're on schedule and stuff has germinated really well. There's some vigor there, but there's not been enough heat to get it uh, germinated to the size I'd like. So I have today, which is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, a full growth for a harvest on Tuesday. So what I'm going to do in that meantime, I'm going to do two things. Uh, actually, I'm going to do a few things. Uh, it's, it's winter, it's cold, and the water is a bit cold, so I'm going to be very careful about watering. I'm going to give them what they need and work very hard not to overwater them because excess cold water can slow them down. Second thing I'm going to do is bump up the temperature, so it's uh, hotter for a larger duration of the day and warmer overnight. And another thing I'm actually going to do is that I'm going to extend the period of light. Now, plants do need a resting period, but I find if we extend the lighting period a bit, it gives the plants a little bit more energy to grow. So we're looking at trying to get a, a crop by the time it's Tuesday harvest again that this crop is back on schedule. Usually we're pretty good at that. The, the thing is we're using more heat, more light, so it, it's uh, taking a bit more energy, so there's a higher cost. So it's really important to have your settings set really well for the whole of your cycle. Now interestingly, I thought we had them set very well, so I'm a little surprised to see this crop is behind, but it is a particularly cold um, winter, and it's a cold time right now, so it might just be that uh, the greenhouse is cooling a little quicker than usual. I'll pop up here so you can take a quick look at our pea shoots as well. These guys were uncovered yesterday, and they're also behind. They're quite short. They're looking very healthy, but it's gonna be hard to get them to be of size by the time uh, Tuesday harvest comes. So same thing applies to them. A bit more heat, a bit more light, being careful with the watering. And generally that last day, they do tend to recover. So let's hope for the best and, uh, and see that our first harvest ends up being successful. One thing we can anticipate is maybe having to pick a few more hulls from our sunflower, so that's gonna make the harvest a little longer. Um, and it's usually a little harder to cut a shorter uh, shoot, so that might make it a bit longer as well. Um, our radish looks to be fairly on schedule, but we actually sowed it a day early. So that day early actually is working in our favor, and these should be perfect by the time um, harvest comes along. So yeah, just a reminder of looking for indicators for where your crop is at and being ready to respond quickly. Now realistically, the crew that was in yesterday should have noticed this and should have bumped the temperature up yesterday. So it's also making sure everybody is on the same page and everybody knows to watch for these things. All right, hope that's helpful.